Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another example based on the pre-stressed concrete. So see here, this is the example which is related to the previous concept that is effect of loading on the stress on wires in the tendons. See here, a pre-stressed concrete beam of span 6 meters. So I am already, so here I am taking the given data L equal to 6 meters has a width of 150 mm so it is always better to take down the given data one side and depth will be equal to 300 mm the initial stresses in the tendons located at an eccentricity of 50 mm sorry so the initial stresses will be 1000 Newton per mm square located at an eccentricity of 50 mm. Then the sectional area of the tendons will be equal to 100 mm square. And find the percentage increase in stress. So we have to underline this one. So we have to find out this percentage increase in stress in the wires with the beam supports a live load of 5 kilo Newton per meter. And unit weight of concrete will be given 24 kilo newton per meter cube modulus of elasticity of steel will be equal to 210 kilo newton per mm square and modulus of elasticity of concrete will be equal to 36 kilo newton per mm square so all these are the given data and what they are asking they are asking to find out the percentage increase in stress so we know the formula for this stress according to the previous concept the formula will be equal to 2e theta by l stress will be equal to strain into Young's modulus again what is theta here net theta will be equal to net rotation will be equal to rotation due to pre-stress rotation due to loads again for this one there will be one formula this one there will be formula so we have to substitute all the values one by one finally for obtaining this stress value after obtaining this stress percentage increase in stress will be equal to obtained stress by initial stress into 100 we know for SSC, if you want percentage means total marks will be 600 and open marks will be some 500 means 500 by 600 into 100. You will get the percentage like that. So the percentage increase in stress will be find out easily here. So already this is the increase in stress. So just we are taking percentage. So obtain divided by initial into 100 like that percentage increase in stress will be equal to based on this formula we are getting. So here. First point is finding theta here. So theta will be equal to theta p minus theta l. Also again what is theta p? So rotation due to loads. That one will be equal to. So you please see once the last video already uploaded in our playlist. So there you will know what is the concept behind this uh, formula. So here what is p? p will be equal to stress into area. So we know stress equal to force by area. Here P will be equal to pre-stressing force. So stress equal to given in the question 1000 Newton per mm square into area will be 100 mm square. So this is mm square and this is Newton per mm square. mm square and mm square here cancel. This is Newton per mm square. So finally you will get a 1000 into 100. So how much you will get? Pre-stressing force will be equal to 1 double zero here double zero here in terms of Newton. If we change into kilo Newtons divided by 10 to the power of 3. So you will get out directly 100 kilo Newton will be the P value and again. So here I also unknown for finding I we know the formula Vd cube by 2. What is B value? So B value will be given 150, D value will be equal to 300 divided by 2. So if you simplify, you will get this one 3.375 into 10 to the power of 5. So basically you will get the value directly 3375000 like that. So I am taking in terms of decimals 3.375 into 10 to the power of 8 like this. Okay. So and remaining values will be substituting directly. 
सो पी वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन इ वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू एस एंट्री सी विच इज फिफ्टी इज गिवेन अंड एल विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स मीटर्स विच इज सिक्स थौजेंड इन एम एम सो ऐम टेकिंग आल द यूनिट फर् एम एम अंड टू एलैक्ट्रिसटी आफ कांक्रीट सो दट वन विल बी इक्वल टू टू टेन किलो न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर सो दट इज फर् स्टील फर् कांक्रीट So we have to take down thirty six into, and I value will be equal to this one three point three seven five into ten to the power of eight. So if you simplify this one by using your calci, directly you will get zero point zero zero one two three in radians. So this is the value for the theta p, and again find out the theta l value. So theta l will be equal to again there will be another formula which is W l cube by twenty four e i. So here W will be equal to total load. So that is based on dead load plus live load. So dead load. So dead load based on the property that is B into D into one into unit weight of R C C for concrete that is twenty four. So here rectangle will be given one fifty by three hundred. So for for one meter unit we are taking this one. Okay, that is area into one into unit weight. So B will be equal to in terms of mm. I am taking zero point one five into zero point three zero into one into twenty four kilo newton per meter cube. Finally, you will get uh, after simplifying one point zero eight kilo newton per meter. And live load will be equal to already given the question five kilo newton per meter. So total load will be equal to five plus one point zero eight six point zero eight kilo newton per meter. And I value already known. So substitute here one by one. Theta L will be equal to six point zero eight into L value, which is Six thousand whole cube in terms of mm. So here L value will be six meters, and here kilo newton per meter will be given, and L value also given in terms of meter. So meter and one meter will be cancelled. You will get in terms of square here. So simplify by your own. You will get an idea. So I am taking directly here six thousand square because. Six meter cube and meter is cancel means you will get meter square kilo newton meter square okay twenty four so again here EC will be equal to thirty six I value will be equal to three point three seven five into ten to the power of eight so if you simplify you will get theta L will be equal to Approximately zero point zero zero four five zero radians. So finally, theta will be equal to theta p minus theta l. So we are taking net value here, higher minus lower, not exactly this theta p minus theta l. Higher minus lower means theta l minus theta p also you are getting. So like that, I am taking theta l minus theta p only. So just you are taking net, not minus here. So that one will be equal to zero point zero zero four five zero minus zero point zero zero one two three. Net means higher minus lower value. So you can remember like that. Theta L minus theta P or theta P minus theta L, which are the higher. Like that you are subtracting in that. You will get zero point zero zero three two seven radian. So, what is the formula for percentage increase in stress? So, increase in stress means increase in stress equal to two e theta by l into 
yes increase in stress in the tendons generally the formula will be that is 2 into 15 mm into theta will be equal to 0 0.00327 divided by length of this span will be 6000 mm into yes elasticity of steel will be equal to 210 kilo newton per mm square so we are taking the value in terms of newton per mm square that one will be equal to 10 to the power of 3 newton per mm square if you simplify this value so generally we know this is the elongation of the cable which is 2e theta like that also you can simplify sup separate or else you can combinedly do in the formula you will get 11.445 newton per mm square after obtaining this one i already told you already increase in stress will be there just to find out the percentage for that percentage increase in stress will be equal to so obtained value divided by given initial stress into 100 if you simplify this one finally you will get 1.1445 percentage so this is how we have to find out the percentage increase in stress for this type of formulas problems